Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Kinematics, one dimension, free for upward motion. Question two. A photographer in a helicopter ascending vertically at a constant rate of 12.5 meters per second accidentally drops a camera out of the window when the helicopter is 60 meters above the ground. And we're looking for how long will it take the camera to reach the ground, and also what will its speed be when it hits the ground. So this question is we're talking about camera. The camera drops from a helicopter which is ascending vertically at a constant rate of 12.5 meters per second. So this is different from if the camera dropped from a helicopter which is instantly is not moving upward. Because of Newton's, from the Newton first law, we know Every object has a tendency to keep its initial motion. So that's why, in this case, the camera at the instant drop from the helicopter has the initial velocity of 12.5 meters per second upward. And after leaving helicopter, the only force exerted on the camera is gravity. So the camera, in general, we can say, is doing free fall with initial velocity 12.5 meters per second upward. So we can draw a picture. First of all, Let's say this is, uh, we still set the downward as positive, y, and this is the place instant the camera dropped, so which is at the 60 meter above the ground, okay? But it has, the initial velocity is upward, V zero Y, but the acceleration is downward, right? Because the gravity always downward. And what is exactly the motion of camera? The camera is doing free fall with initial velocity upward after leaving helicopter because of the gravity, so it decelerate and still upward but decelerate until its velocity to zero. Then it drops downward to the ground, right? So we write the given information The acceleration is downward, so we write acceleration is 9.8 meter per second squared because we said the downward is positive. That's why acceleration is positive. And the displacement also is positive. But the initial velocity is negative because upward. So for this is uh, 12 point, 12.5 meter per second. So we're looking for the total time from 
leaving helicopter to the ground. The second we're looking for the final velocity when the camera hits the ground. So we're still using formula D equals V zero Y times T plus one over two A times T square. The D equals sixty. The V initial equals negative twelve point five meter per second because the space so I'm not going to write the unit because we already from the information we know the velocity meter per second acceleration meter per second square displacement is meter everything already in the right unit and multiply t uh, we're looking for t we don't know t right plus 1 over 2 multiply 9.8 meter per second square multiply t square. So we're looking for t. In this case, we need a solving a quadrate equation because this is t square. So we write the t square at the first 1 over 2 multiply 9.8, which is 4.9. So we'll write 4.9 t squared minus 12.5 t move the 60 to the right side with all together. So which is negative 60 equals 0. So this is a quadrate equation. So solving quadrate, solving quadrate equation, we know this one, the 4.9 is A because compared with the standard form of quadrate equation, we can say A times x squared plus Bx plus C equals 0. So A equals 4.9. B equal negative 12.5 and the C equals negative 60. So we can plug these three numbers into quadrate equation formula. So we have T equals This is 2a, the bottom is 2a, which is 2 times 4.9. The top is negative b, negative b, b is negative 12.5 plus minus, because quadrate is square, so we have two answers. Square root, b square, negative 12.5 square minus 4ac. The a is 4.9. What I see is negative 60. To solve this one, we're just using calculate. can put calculate here, we can say, first we calculate the inside the square root, which is 12.5 square. We have 12.5 square. Because this is a minus, because negative, we don't need positive. After square got the positive, right? So 12.5 square, and this is negative, this is negative, so we got positive, plus 4 times 4.9, 
times 60 that equals to 1332.25 let's write down on the other paper we have T equals the bottom is 2 multiplied 4.9 which is 9.8 the top negative negative we got the positive which is 12.5 plus minus square root 1332.25 we got the square root T equals 9.8 12.5 plus minus after square root we got the 36.5 so T1 equals 9.8 12.5 plus 36.5 5 it equals 5 seconds 5.0 second. T2, obviously you can see 12.5 minus 36.5, 9.8. 12 12.5 minus 36.5, which is negative. The time ne never be negative. So this one is not the answer. It's not the answer. The answer is 5 seconds. So it takes 5 seconds for the camera to drop to the ground. And the second question, we do question B, looking for the final velocity, because we already have the time t, so we can use the final velocity, final velocity, equals the initial velocity plus acceleration times t. So it equals negative 12.5 meter per second plus 9.8 meter per second square multiplied t equals 5 seconds. We got negative 12.5 meter per second and the plus say 9.8 we can calculate 9.8 times 5 equals 49 then plus negative 12.5 we got 36 0.5 meter per second. So the final velocity you call 36.5 meter per second positive, which is downward, right? So this is represented by wise guys. Thank you.